The latest thing in the digital revolution is the proliferation of the Internet of Things, also known as IoT. And you're probably wondering, what is IoT exactly? The idea is that there are lots of things in our homes that could benefit from being a little smarter. For example, a coffee pot that is linked to my alarm clock, so my coffee is always ready when I wake up. Currently, we can put a timer into a coffee pot, but we can't make it talk to the other things in the house. The Internet of Things is the process of putting a computer processor and a Wi-Fi connection into these kinds of everyday items so that we can use computer programming to control those devices. This allows us to create solutions where the devices communicate and work together. It's not limited to coffee pots and alarm clocks. It's intended to allow all the devices in your home to work together to automate things and make your life easier. So today I want to talk to you about a very interesting new project. It's called Hyundai Digital Asset Company or HDAC in short. And it's an IoT contract platform based on blockchain. The company is backed by Hyundai BS&C. The founder of HDAC is Mr. Dae Sun Chung. And he is the nephew of both the former and president CEO of Hyundai Motors, which is the car manufacturing company. The HDAC token generation event just started a few days ago, and their target is 6,000 Bitcoin. They also raised 13,000 Bitcoin in pre-sale from Asian markets, but are still relatively unknown in the Western markets. And it's not like other ICOs with no product for testing. Hyundai BSNC is in the frontiers of applying blockchain technology in everyday life. HDAC is actually creating a franchise called Cafe de Bloc in Seoul, which will advertise and accept HDAC and Bitcoin. The first chain opens in the first week of December, and the franchise will continue to grow with other branches in Seoul. Problems and Solutions There are many estimates for the number of Internet of Things devices that we will have in 2020, ranging from 20 billion to 200 billion, depending on the study that you read. Connected devices, homes, and vehicles can already be found in advanced countries, but the complexity of ensuring safe financial transactions is close to impossible. Consider the security challenges involved in safely making an online payment on your phone in a public place. The vulnerability of security breaches is very high between connected devices. There's a high security risk for office buildings, large convention centers, or even a connected home that is transferring data constantly throughout the day. Also, with all the data streaming from users these days, systems are finding it hard to control and use that data for their purposes. The problem is that the amount of data is huge and being able to filter out all the noise and get to the data that is really meaningful. So, a network of economies and payment platforms in the IoT have to integrate blockchain into their system in order to offer security, integrity, and confidentiality to their users. HDAC is creating a blockchain solution for the problems that are currently facing the IoT. It is working to apply blockchain technology to quickly and effectively communicate, handle identity, authentication, and data storage. The system is also designed to facilitate the processing of payments over the Bitcoin and Ethereum blockchains by building bridges to both systems. Furthermore, the HDAC system incorporates a double chain system, one public and one private, in order to increase transaction rates and volume. This means that the platform is applicable for both IoT devices and also industry networks. Because of the flexibility HDAC provides, users are able to select their own transaction fees. Plus, the system is built with the ability for users to create smart contracts, unlike most data systems. Finally, the system provides confidentiality, immutability, and integrity for processing data on the IoT. A good example of HDAC technology would be car rentals at the airport. Instead of going to a booth, standing in line doing paperwork and getting a car key, you could go directly to a vehicle, have it automatically unlocked with a connection between your phone and the car. The team and advisors look very impressive. As you know, the founder of HDAC, Mr. Dae Sun Chung, is also the CEO of Hyundai BSNC. And he's the nephew of both the former and president CEO of Hyundai Motors. They also have a lot of big names in their team. For example, Mike Costanche, he is the president of Karma, the world's first decentralized smart community network. 
Eddie Travia, who is the CEO and co-founder of Coinalism, Caitlin Connors, the founder of The Fox Theory, and Larry Kim, who is the CEO of Hyundai Pay. They also have partnerships with Hyundai Pay, DoubleChain, Dexco, Korean Digital Exchange, PST Legal and Consulting, EYL, and many more. To see the full list, you can check out their website at hdac.io. Or if you want more information, you can also read their white paper. All the links are in the description below. If you like this video, don't forget to put a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time. Peace.